Greetings and welcome. I hope everybody had a fantastic Diwali because the amount of patakas and big bombs in terms of tech that I have on the show today is absolutely amazing. We'll start off with a big one, the Acer 58-inch XL Series 4K TV. Yes, a TV from Acer. So they do such great stuff with everything else. What did they do in a TV that was different? Did they rise above the noise? Let's see if they live up to expectations. Then the Canon R6. Now this is a camera that can shoot 4K. 60 frames per second, 10-bit footage at almost full frame. Now, one of the only cameras that has this capability in this price range. And you know, Canon does some incredible stuff with their cameras. The R6 is really a showcase for that, like incredible dual pixel autofocus, same sensor and processor as the Canon 1DX Mark III, which costs 6 lakhs plus or something, right? Then we'll move on to something that I absolutely and totally love, TWS earbuds, because it's a game changer category. But the company that's now doing these TWS earbuds is something we've been waiting for. This is Diwale and they've come up with the Gemini. Now, you know Diwale, the Phantom and everything else that they do. Great design, 30 hours of battery life, but it's the sound, the incredible sound with amazing noise cancellation. Now, it's priced higher than most other TWS earbuds at about 30 to 33,000. But, you know, I think they almost live up to that price point. Then the Logitech G Pro Wireless, lightweight ambidextrous design, wireless one millisecond response time, amazing battery life, great sensor. We'll take you through this and a whole lot more. Let's get started with today's Gadget 360 show. So our top story today is a TV I've been waiting for. This is a TV from Acer. Yes, Acer, the one that we have. They've got a whole series of TVs. The one we have, the 58-inch XL Series 4K TV. So this is actually quite a TV. So 4K resolution, HDR10 Plus certification, 10-bit color depth, wide color gamut plus, incredibly sharp images. It can take 720p, 1080p and upscale it to 4K. Then let's come down to the sound. Great speaker, 24-watt output. Comes with Android TV on board and you know it's on Android 9 right now. Over there, it'll go to Android 11. And the last part that I want to tell you before we move on to the review. Really aggressive price point. Let's take a look at our review now. Acer's new XL series 58-inch 4K UHD TV is not here to be a standard bank for buck product. A lot of other TVs are there to try out for that title. Acer designed and priced this TV to hit it out of the park. And that's what they have done by combining a great set of features with an unreal price. And today we will explain all of these features along with revealing the unreal price. Starting with the design, Acer has managed to create something amazing. The TV has a solid build and is extremely sleek in its depth. The front of the TV has a complete lack of bezels around the 58 inch panel. The bezels are thin enough that the display looks even bigger when switched on. The stand that comes along with the TV is built well. It is strong enough to easily handle the weight of the huge panel. The panel itself is beautiful. It is a 4K TV with an HDR10 Plus certification, 10-bit color depth and white color gamut plus. This basically translates to an incredibly detailed and sharp panel capable of displaying an image that has deeper blacks and detailed highlights along with accurately reproducing 1.07 billion colors. The vibrancy, the colors and details are mind-blowing. And the brightness is never less, even for a well-lit room due to the 420 nits of brightness this TV has. And even while watching standard 1080p content, the TV is capable of analyzing every frame, upscaling it to 4K and then deepening the shadows, increasing the contrast to produce an incredibly upscaled image quality. For the sound, the TV comes with inbuilt speakers which can produce a sound that will easily fill a mid-size room, setting a wide sound stage and crystal clear dialogues with their 24 watt output. It also comes with Android TV on board which provides easy access to all OTD platforms apart from the pre-installed ones. And the UI and performance of the software are smooth with the backing of a quad-core processor, 2GB of RAM and 16GB storage. As for attaching gaming consoles and soundbars, the TV has three HDMI ports on the back, with one of them being an HDMI ARC port for shifting audio to a capable soundbar. And this entire feature-rich package comes at an unreal price of 40999 That is exactly what knocking it out of the park means. And at such a price, it becomes an extremely easy recommendation for us to give. 
All right, so we really enjoyed it. And I'm glad a company like Acer comes in with Acer branded TVs. But why did they do it now? Coming into a market that is so aggressive, that is so competitive now. So we spoke to Anand Dubey, CEO of Incal Technologies. So Anand, thank you so much for joining us on the show. We've just reviewed your 58-inch XL series. But with so many brands currently competing in the TV market, what do Acer TVs provide that makes them different from the rest of the market? Uh, in a television, the core features are... Uh... Uh, the, the display and the audio and uh, uh, that's where we are focusing the development of the product starts with the with the focus on you know being able to uh, provide incremental benefits to the customers of Acer televisions uh, come out with many uh, small value additions to the display for example we have uh, uh, the intelligent frame, frame stabilization we have uh, uh, dynamic calibration and we have uh, uh, UHD upscaling. All of this, what uh, what all of this means is, uh, at the end of the day, when the customer is consuming content, is is looking at uh, the television, uh, they're getting better quality. And that's that's essentially what we're doing. Okay, Anand, and the size of TVs being sold in India is getting bigger and bigger every year. Even though there was a time where India was predominantly a market with 32-inch TVs. So how do you see the Indian market growing in the future when it comes to the size of the TVs? In general, we are seeing a growth. I mean, you rightly said we are seeing a growth uh, or a, a growth of uh, the the uh, sizes uh, which are in tune of say 43 and then above 50 55 uh, all of this is going to culminate into the growth of the industry it, it, it's definitely growing i, I mean obviously uh, it still remains a 32 centric market but at the end of the day we are looking at a at a considerable growth uh, over the, over the last two, three years. And, and that's going to accelerate absolutely certain about that. Thank you so much, Anand, for joining us on the show. We look forward to tracking all the progress with Acer and your brand. Let's move on now to our next big top story, the Canon R6. Now, I have to tell you this. This is a great camera. Simple, very familiar design, has two SD card slots, carries the same image processor and sensor from the Canon 1DX Mark III. Now, I'll tell you some of the things we enjoyed using on this. First of all, the dual pixel autofocus works really well. Whether you're taking photos Photographs or videos works really well. Then, one of the only cameras capable of shooting at 4K, 60 frames per second, 10-bit footage. And you know, if you're really into way professional stuff, it even does C-log format in this price range. Many other cameras cannot do it. And the price point is just above 2 lakh rupees. Last year, when Canon finally came out with their follow-up to their first mirrorless camera, the Canon R5, it took up most of the attention for reasons both good and bad. But the one camera that did not get much attention was the R6, a hybrid photo and video camera. And despite the lower megapixel count on its sensor, this camera is severely underrated. And today, in our review of the Canon R6 a year later, we tell you why. So the Canon R6 sports a simple and familiar design. The top has a shutter button, a video recording button and a wheel to switch between shooting modes. On the other side of the hot shoe is a power switch. The right side has a flap that covers the two HD card slots on it. The left side has an external mic port, a headphone jack, a mini HDMI port and a USB-C port for data transfer and charging. The front has a 3-inch LCD touchscreen along with controls for camera and menus. The camera sports the new RF mount compatible with all the new RF lenses or the older EF lenses through an adapter. The grip, like other Canon cameras, is good enough that the camera can easily melt into the user's hand with all the controls becoming super intuitive. Internally, it carries the same image processor and the 20.1 megapixel sensor as the much more expensive 1DX Mark III, a DSLR that costs 6,9495. The images that come out of such a camera are amazing. The details, sharpness and colors are as good as they can be. The dual pixel autofocus works well on all pictures with the camera being fully capable of keeping moving subjects in focus. Even pictures clicked at 10,000 to 12,000 ISO look pretty sharp with no noise. And the amount of information present in all of the pictures make them easily malleable while editing. When it comes to making videos, the camera is just as stellar. It is one of the only cameras capable of shooting almost full frame 4K 60fps 10-bit footage in Canon Log format in this price range. This basically means that you can shoot 4K video at 60fps with the dynamic range and colors capable of being changed while editing without the footage breaking down. 
It works especially well for people who like to grade the colors of their videos after they have been shot. The autofocus works just as fast as it does on the Sony cameras for videos and the more expensive Canon R5. The Canon R6 is still an incredibly capable and severely underrated camera. But in the end, who is it meant for? It is meant for the newer filmmakers and photographers. Yes, the R5 comes with a much sharper sensor and more video features, but it costs a lot more, let alone the cost of the very expensive RF lenses that you will have to buy because of the complete lack of third-party RF lenses from Sigma or Tamron. So, it is much better to get an R6 instead of the R5 and invest the money that remains in RF lenses. Hence, for all the new filmmakers and photographers, the R6 priced at 2,15,995 will be a firm recommendation. All right, it's time now for the Deviale Gemini. So, Deviale is a company that's really made its mark in terms of the Phantom and everything else that they were doing. What happens when they come into the TWS here? But now, this is a completely different market, but expectations are obviously sky high. So, fit is good, snug, comfortable for long hours. Case is a bit large, so it's not very pocketable, of course. Earbuds last for about six hours on a single charge. Case can charge them about three to four times. So, total combined battery life of 30 hours. Gesture controls works very well. But the sound, I have to say it again, the sound. Once again, the Viale lives up to expectations in the sound. So, sound is great. The noise cancellation is absolutely the best in its class. Now, everything else we really, really like. Maybe, maybe the calls, the way it handles calls could have been a little bit better. And the price point is about 32999 So, that is one of the most expensive TUWS earbuds. So, let's take a look at our review. Devale has been the brand synonymous with luxurious audio. While our experience with them was limited to speakers, we got our hands on the Gemini earbuds and attend from Devale on truly wireless earbuds. These earbuds come with some interesting tech at work, with a different design, active noise cancellation and an expensive price tag. But the question that needs to be answered is whether they are worth it or not. And today we will answer just that. The Gemini in terms of design look different from most of the other Thule wireless earbuds. Fitting them in your ears is pretty easy. Plug them straight into your ears and that's about it. No twisting, no locking. While this stood true in our testing, fit in the case of earbuds is always subjective. The size may seem big, but plugging these earbuds in and using them for hours is comfortable. As for getting the perfect amount of isolation, there are four sizes of silicone earbuds to choose from. The case is also different, but not for the better. It is large, hence not easily pocketable, and rather than flipping open, it slides open. Hence, if you manage to keep them in your pocket, make sure you take them out carefully, without sliding open the case. In terms of battery life though, the case is excellent. The earbuds themselves last for 6 hours and the case can charge them 4 times over. This translates to a combined battery life of 30 hours. The case has a USB-C port and can also be charged wirelessly. As for using the earbuds, there have been no bugs that we had to deal with. The battery level shows up in the Deviale Gemini app available for all smartphones. The app can be used to set the level of noise cancellation, select any EQ presets or configure it, and alter the touch controls on the earbuds. All the gestures work well without any errors. Now, the most anticipated aspect to talk about any pair of truly wireless earbuds, how do they sound? These earbuds sound great. The sound is incredibly dynamic. While the sound stage is not as wide as we would like, there is great separation in all of the instruments. The highs are comfortable, the mids and vocals are clear, and the bass is deep and well textured. The dynamic preset on the EQ settings in the app should produce the sound that works well for everyone. As for the ANC, that is absolutely amazing. The earbuds cut out up to 40 decibels of noise. As soon as one wears them, most of the sound around them ceases to exist. The transparency mode also works well, unless the user is walking outside on a windy day, where the wind causes a lot of distortion. As good as the mics and technology are for active noise cancellation, the same is not the case with the mics for calls. The audio from the mics does not sound great and can be easily muffled in a noisy environment. The Deviale Gemini are great at most things while less than ideal in some, and the price of 32999 is more expensive than even the Apple AirPods Pro, which are sold at 24900 While other earbuds can provide great noise cancellation or great sound or great fit, none of these earbuds provide all of this at once along with a bug-free experience. And if the price is not an issue, these earbuds will be certainly worth it for you. Let's take a quick break right now on the show. When we come back, lots more happening on the Gadget 360 show.
Now let's move on to the Logitech G Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. A high performance mouse meant for gamers comes in ambidextrous design that practically feels very weightless. Comes with an extremely precise sensor. So for gaming, that is the big deal. Comes with an illuminated logo, RGB lighting. Uh, you last about 60 hours on a single charge. Great clickable buttons with a firm scroll wheel. So this is quite the gaming mouse and it's priced at about 11,000 rupees. A gaming mouse is very different in every way from a normal mouse found in most places. They are focused on precise tracking, weightless design, responsive and crisp buttons with response latency next to nothing. And today, based on this, we are reviewing the Logitech G Pro Wireless, a mouse designed for professional esports gamers and casual competitive gamers. We find out what it gets right, what it gets wrong and if it is worth your hard earned money. Starting with one of the most important aspects of any gaming mouse, its design. Logitech has done well with the G Pro. The design is ambidextrous, meaning it can be used by all users regardless of which hand of theirs is the dominant one. And despite the ambidextrous design, the mouse is extremely comfortable to use. It is shaped well enough to fit inside most hands and is comfortable to use for long hours. And with a weight of just 80 grams, the mouse feels weightless during all the intense gaming sessions. There is an illuminated logo in the middle with RGB lighting that can be controlled by Logitech's G-Hub app. Right above the logo are three LED lights that indicate the level of battery left. The two main left and right buttons are built well too. They are clicky and crisp. The scroll wheel in the middle is smooth but firm. The mouse also comes with four removable buttons, two on each side which can be configured to whatever the user wants. The cable that connects with the mouse for charging also allows for the user to use the mouse at the same time. The cable is flexible and lightweight. The end of the cable that goes into the micro USB port of the mouse comes with support on each side to make sure that the port or the cable is not damaged during intense gaming sessions. And yes, it is a micro USB port in a world that has very much moved on to USB-C ports. But you would not need the cable all that much. The claimed battery life of this mouse is 48 hours with RGB lights switched on and 60 hours with RGB lights switched off, which are met. And even when the user uses the mouse wirelessly with the dongle, the response time is limited to 1 millisecond, which is practically next to nothing. The wireless dongle can be placed inside the slot located at the bottom of the mouse, so traveling with the mouse would not mean losing the dongle. Now, another extremely important aspect for a gaming mouse is the sensor underneath it. Logitech shines through here as well. The 25K sensor hits up to 25,600 dpi, which simply means that the tracking is extremely smooth and precise. The sensitivity of the mouse can be altered too. So, in case the user wants to use the G Pro for work instead of gaming, they can alter the sensitivity to something more usable for normal tasks. The Logitech G Pro Wireless has been impressive in all aspects when it comes to a gaming house. It gets the design right, the buttons right and the sensors right. After all, it is built for esports professionals and competitive gamers. And for the price of 10,995, there is no doubt that it is expensive. But it is certainly worth it with all the things it gets right and for the premium sensor it has. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week. Lots of crazy great stuff coming up next week on the Gadget 360 show with me, Rajiv Magni. Don't miss it.